Welcome back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. Color, of course, is an element that has three properties, hue, value, and intensity. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Polar Grid tool to make guides to set up your color wheel. At the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you need to have completed before you move on to the next one. So to set up your color wheel, you're going to need the Polar Grid tool. The Polar Grid tool is going to be underneath your Line Segment tool. So if you click and hold, then you can find your Polar Grid tool. If you click and drag with the Polar Grid tool, you're gonna end up with a circular grid and your default settings might be different than mine, but I have one, two, three, four, five lines or five sections, and I have five circles on the inside. We're gonna want to have six sections for our color wheel, and we're gonna wanna have no circles because we're not gonna be using those. So if you just single click with your mouse, you get all of these settings. It'll give you a height and a width for the one that you're gonna create, the number of concentric dividers, and the number of radial dividers. We wanna have six radial dividers, and we wanna have zero concentric dividers. This gives us a circle that kinda of looks like a pizza, and that is exactly what we're looking for. So now what you need to do is to create this in the exact center of your page. As you move around the page, you'll notice that you have these pink guides that show up. These are called smart guides, and they are trying to align to the different things across the other pages in your document window. For example, here it's lining up with the top of my centipede's antennae, the top of his head, his eyes, and so on and so forth. But we wanna try to find the center, and if you have your whole page in the view, and you can do this if you don't have it that way by double clicking the hand tool. Go back to your polar grid tool and just kind of move around in the center until you see the word center. Now, what I want you to do is to click and drag, then hold down both option and shift. Option makes it so that you stay in the center of the page and shift is gonna make it so that it doesn't distort your circle. Make your circle so that it's about an inch from the edge of the page. And if you look up way up here in the rulers, you can see that tiny dotted line that moves when I move my mouse. So I wanna have it about an inch from the edge of the page, or twice the amount as your margin line. Now we're gonna create guides with this Polar Grid tool. To do this, you go to View, Guides, and Make Guides. Now you'll notice that your circular grid looks exactly like the guides on the outsides of your pages. And that completes this video. Before you move on to the next one, use the Polar Grid tool to make guides to set up your color wheel. Now, if you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.